you're going on that epic bucket list ski trip. Congratulations, I was too just a while back and I was looking online for a minimalist packing guide. How to basically how to go on a heli skiing trip uh, overseas with only carry on luggage. But I didn't find much, so I thought maybe I can help and provide some value to, to uh, all of you who are looking for this in the future. So why, why go with the minimalist approach to begin with? Why only carry on? Well, the answer is simple. If you pay a lot of money, if you go travel uh, to the other side of the, the world, you don't want to end up uh, without your equipment, without your gear. Uh, and unfortunately, as you know, the airlines are not very reliable at all. So they will tell you that your bag is lost, but don't worry, we will send it to you. And then you have to wait for two or three days and then uh, the bag will be disappeared or maybe it's coming, but that won't help you if you are on this um, trip where you actually need the boots or something like that. So when I go, I, I, just bring my boots these are custom made you know custom fit so i definitely want to make sure that i can have my own boots but i can rent skis i can rent skis depending on weather depending on snow conditions and all of that uh, and also of course if you go for off-piste skiing you you're gonna need to have avalanche uh, equipment maybe you want um, the airbag backpack uh, you definitely need a, a shovel and a probe and uh, a, a beacon so um, I'm not bringing that because I'm renting that too. So I'm renting skis, poles and avalanche equipment. Uh, but I will, as I said, I will bring my boots. And for that, I have this, uh, this boot bag. Um, I will always, in, in all of my bags to start with, have, a, have an air tag. Just um, in case, you know, the bag gets lost somewhere. Even if I carry it on, I, I want to be able to, to track it down. Uh, in the bag, I also always bring like an emergency kit with an extra credit card and my um, insurance card. Something would happen and I need to go to the hospital or something like that. So, boots go in here. Like that. And we will zip it up, zip that compartment up. Um, <clears throat> next thing is, um, is to talk about protection. I bring a helmet and I bring some, some back protection. Of course, it's going to be Polk. I'm Swedish. So, so I put this, I have this uh, backpack here. This is an um, ultralight backpack from Hyperlight Mountain Gear. I think it's called the Junction 3400. Um, it's very good because it's flexible. I can pack a lot of stuff and then I can compress it. I will show you. So the, the back protection goes in here towards the back. Helmet goes in. And in the helmet I put some gloves. I always bring uh, two pair of gloves. You know, of course they, they will be wet maybe. Uh, worst case scenario is you lose one of the gloves when you're out in the wilderness uh, up on the mountain. Then you definitely need to have an extra pair of gloves with you. So always, always two pair of gloves. Um, then for protective gear, let's go straight to, to clothing. This is the, um, the windproof and the waterproof, the outer layer, pants and jacket. These are... Uh, also Swedish, Fjällräven. Um, great clothes, uh, the Bergtagen uh, three layer. So uh, they will keep you dry. Goes in here too. Then I have um, underwear. I bring two pair of underwear 
two pair of socks. These are long socks uh, for, for um, alpine skiing boots. So two pair of socks, two pair of underwear. I have this uh, laundry bag and I, I also bring some detergent if I need to do any washing in the hotel room if, if it stinks too bad. So uh, underwear, socks, goes in here as well. Then under the clothes you need to have um, long johns and uh, a merino wool shirt. These are uh, half, half long long johns so they meet the knee long socks. Perfect for, for alpine skiing. Um, goes in there. And of course the mid layer. So first layer, second layer, these are wool power, merino wool uh, 200 shirt. Um, and also shorts. I don't like, if it's cold outside, I don't like to have only the long johns and the, the windproof pants. So I, I bring some isolation shorts. These are uh, Houdini. So, um, hey, I'm like this brand ambassador for Swedish things here. Huh? And sometimes they have a jacuzzi, hot tub. So uh, a bathing suit might be nice, even though I'm Swedish. Uh, and of course, something to put over your neck like this if it's cold day outside. So a buff, it's always nice to have. And then definitely when you go skiing, you want to need to have something to keep yourself warm if it's very cold um, or when you take a lunch break. So something like a down jacket. This here is, um, is an ultralight um, thousand fill power down jacket from Rab. So it weighs only like 300 grams and it will definitely keep you warm no matter how cold it is. So I put that in, of course, depending on your weight in the bags, when you weigh your bags uh, to check in, you can uh, wear some of this as well. The jackets, easy to just put it on when you are going through security and when you're boarding the plane, if, uh, if they say your bag is too heavy. So that's about it. And then we will just close this Like I said, compress it like that. And tighten it up like that. The, the boot bag, I will use this to be fast in security. So when I what I want to do when I, when I come to security, I want to protect my goggles. I have two pair of goggles also. So um, one pair for uh, for uh, low visibility, like orange goggles, you know, when it's cloudy or misty or snowing or foggy. Um, and then an extra pair for these beautiful sunny days when it's a little bit, you know, when you want darker glasses, basically. So two pair of goggles and you want to make sure to not scratch them. So I put them up here in a secure compartment. And then I have the top shelf here so I can reach this fast when I go through security. When I go through security, I want to be able to, to take out my toiletries, toothpaste, uh, all the fluids, uh, sunscreen, don't forget sunscreen, uh, soap, deodorant, all of that. So that, that needs to go out, uh, most cases in the security control. And also it's a good thing to be able to just toss electronics out so that they can screen electronics in a separate bat like, like this. Here I have a GoPro and some uh, power bank and charging cables and you know stuff like that so electronics and uh, fluids and depending on your needs uh, of course you need to make sure to bring some medicine I have some band-aid and some uh, uh, some aspirin and some emodium if the stomach goes bad contact lenses uh, allergy pills Again, you might be on medication, so medication and passport, you don't want to miss that. And if you are going somewhere and you're expecting some cold weather, it might be nice to have some hand warmers and some foot warmers to put in the boots. 
Uh, don't bring too many of these, not more than you need. In um, different places they have regulations, so you can bring maximum of six or something. So if you're, uh, if you're not sure, um, look that up. Just go and Google it for, for the country you're going to. Um, and I also bring um, the Garmin InReach. So if I go to places where I expect to have no cell phone connection, like in the mountains, um, this will help you to... Um, First of all, it's an SOS trans, uh, uh, transmitter, so you can send an SOS if you end up in, a, in an emergency situation. And it communicates with satellites, so you don't need to have your cell phone and a cell phone reception. Uh, second, you can also send text messages via this, so you can communicate with people if you, if you lose a cell phone reception. So that goes in there too. So that's it. Uh, and then I am going to bring... Um, a hydro flask. So if, if it's warm outside, of course a plastic bottle is fine. This is uh, like a thermos, so this will keep my water from freezing. If I you know, ski outside all days and it's minus five or something. So this goes in here as well. And that's about all I need. Then of course I will bring you know, some extra underwear. Uh, I will use the the pants that I have for traveling, for after ski and all of that, maybe I will throw down an extra shirt, look nice, you know, when they play the Credence Clearwater at the after ski. Uh, and I will make sure to wear boots, something like this, you know, Gore-Tex boots in between uh, sneakers and, and uh, heavy boots, because uh, you never know what the conditions will be like, so you don't want to be moving around wet. But these are the two bags. This is everything I need for uh, a full, wake, uh, full week of heli skiing. So let's check the, the weight scale now. Um, if you go like me, um, I check with the airlines always, of course, and you need to. Uh, you are allowed to bring two carry-on bags, each at a maximum of eight kilograms. So two times eight, that's your limitation. So let's see where we are at right now. This is uh, the poor man's weight scale. You don't need any batteries. Okay, so the boot, boot bag, drum roll. This is 7.2, seven, seven and a half kilos. So this is like 15 pounds. Uh, and this one should be easier. No boots in here. Oh, it's almost the same, 7.4. So I have two bags, both below eight kilograms uh, or 15 pounds. So both are fine to use as a carry-on bag. And again, if uh, I need to, to take the weight down or if I need to bring any, any more clothes or any more stuff for a computer, you could always you know, rearrange a little bit and take uh, like the down jacket or the, the shell layer or something and wear it when you are boarding the plane. And, and you'll be fine and you will carry it all all the way through and you know that you will have a sensational ski trip because you are not missing any piece of gear so with that i i just wish you the best of luck and i hope you have an awesome time in the mountains <laughs>